if I've done a video on uh, lead gener lead scraping from websites, lead extraction, however you want to call it. But there is an updated way where you can actually get it to work because a lot of people are complaining that it doesn't work anymore. Um, <clears throat> this is the way to actually extract the emails from the pages, from the websites and save them as a file where you can just email them or, uh, you know, work on them or whatever else you want to do. Stick around, like, subscribe, share this video if you like it and let's begin. In order to <clears throat> start grabbing emails, you'll need a tool. The one that I really prefer, this is an amazing guy that created this. He's very helpful and he actually updated it really recently once I spoke to him. Again, the guy is really great. Uh, if you need a programming expert, reach out to him. Uh, he can probably do a lot more than this. He's, he's amazing. So what do you want to do? You want to go to... Uh, uh, you want to search for web spider web crawler email extractor I'm gonna link this into description and you can just download it from there and you want to download and that's about it if you have a problem see this this is one thing where people have problems with so if you have uh, if you do not have Java installed you gotta go to microsoft.com uh, slash open J D D K and download that so that's how you start if you do not have uh, uh, Microsoft's open uh, that's Java uh, uh, but if you don't have this version it's it might not work so I just download it and I see that it, I can open it but it's not it's not gonna open so this is what this is exactly the problem that most of the people are having so let's fix it and this is how you do it so uh, just type this into Google if you want open JDK or you can just uh, uh, download I'm gonna leave this in the description as well so what do you want to use if you're getting error you want to download the MSI file now I'm gonna use the x64 I think this is I believe this is the right one for me once downloaded you want to install it so the point is to have this installed and I'm gonna show you where the problem was with a lot of people that I have as well you want to install this built um, this is with hotspot I don't know if uh, if it's I didn't check if it's with or without hotspot but you really don't care as long as you install this install this version uh, after it's done this is where the problem is so let's say we have the extractor it's not working you gotta right click to it go properties click change and then select open J J JDK platform binary this is where the problem is you don't want to have the java it doesn't work anymore it's old you want to have this one and then you click ok and then apply ok and now it's gonna work so for whoever that had problem with it, whoever uh, didn't get it to work you can actually ha get, have, it, have it working like this and now I'm gonna show you what exactly I mean uh, when I say let's say um, let's say business directory um, UK so this is most likely gonna have something because this looks older there is the website you can visit it but let's see if we can get um, let's see if we can get emails out of this website so what do you want to do when you're looking for email add a new crawler you can name it and you should name it because you know UK business uh, root depth uh, link hoops so what this these are so thread is how many email how many threads is gonna be extracted at the same time link depth I would like to leave it at one because you don't want to go all over the internet uh, root depth so meaning this website that we're gonna input here as a link paste how many how 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 far is it gonna go down so slash something that's one root uh, slash 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 etc in link hoops the same thing so you don't want to do it too much I would leave this at five and five I don't want to go too deep and then I just want to click start um, and I want to keep it at you know whatever I'm looking at so there's gonna be it's gonna be finding a lot of pages so it's gonna be 500 pages in Cree and there's gonna be parsed 60 pages event through 60 pages and it's finding the emails um, page title there's the page title which is perfect there's the page description which is perfect um, <clears throat> this is pretty good um, 
data for the UK. So UK low shopping cars, whatever. And you can see it's, it's collecting, it's going to collect more, etc. So this is how it runs. Um, I'm not going to let this run for a while because I just want to show you the, the details, how it works. Um, you want to stop once you're, you're done. You want to export these. You can just click export and you can save it on desktop and then UK data. And this is how it's going to look. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. I like it. Okay, so I made a mistake. One mistake that I made was remove the UK data. You shouldn't remove the extension because it's going to leave it right there. So it's going to leave it like this. And once you open it, it's going to have that. And it's really nicely sorted out. So again, it's really nice. It's really easy to work with this tool. And it's a great tool to use for every single day if you're using the marketing. Um, B, I think this is pulling out on the number of page that it pulled the email from. You don't need that. You can have this. You can enter the. I like to have it nice and clean. So email. Um, you can. I will delete this uh, website and where we pull the list from. This is the you know business direct business um, what they do etc. So you can name it whatever you want, but it's very simple. And then you save it. And you can actually save it in CSV format and actually blast emails to it. So it's a really good list. Now, a few things that I would like is uh, you can actually go data and you can uh, remove duplicates once you're done with the whole data and see what happened. And then if there is any emails, remove duplicates uh, and then actually test the, the validity of these emails. But they should be pretty valid. Um, these directories are kept pretty good and clean and it's going to be saved there all the emails that is extracted is going to be saved you can always start again so it's going to get more um it could be yeah it's doubling right now because it could be starting again but it can it can search all the pages and it's going to take take all of that but you can add new on top of that and add new and add new etc so it's really easy or you can click here and you can actually um you can actually edit that crawler and it's gonna it's gonna give you the um, it's going to give you the options to, to, um, to edit the crawler. So when you say edit, you can select what we selected earlier and edit. Now, if this happens, you just pull this up. If you don't know where the, the results are right there. So these are the parse links. These are the values, etc. So it's very simple. That's the one you can add more crawlers if the window pops up. Um, so again, this guy is amazing. So if you guys need anything like from hosting, web services, support these guys because they're amazing. This guy is amazing as well. They make these free tools for you to use and myself as well included. I've used this tool for years. It's perfect. It works. It's just there was a problem before. Now it's fixed. He fixed it, updated it. It's very easy. You can contact him right there if you need to contact. Uh, for support contact, I, I don't know if it's if it's my ad block, but... Uh, you can find his page. I'm going to link it all down on the bottom and you can find uh, his crawler. You can find his extractor. So if that's what you need to do, do it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments, subscribe, like, and I'll be pumping out more videos that you can use for outreach, for lead generation, for marketing, digital marketing, just business growth in general. Bye-bye.